Oh yeah, here we go. Twenty nine thousand one hundred and fifteen bucks for an NEC ninety eight inch four K Ultra HD LED TV. Woo! What a bargain! I didn't want to do this live because I want to, you know, I don't want to just be scrolling through and you guys have to just watch me scroll through things. So I'm going to edit this myself and then upload it hopefully sometime within the next few hours. It's 11.35 a.m. here, Central Standard Time, and I want to get this out before roughly 3 or 4 p.m. So let's see. Let's see how fast I can do this. But if you want to follow along with me and see how these deals have changed over time, you can click, uh, go to the New Eggs regular homepage and then click on the uh, Cyber Monday Starts Now thing. So that bar right there. Click on that and it'll take you to something that should look like this. You should see some uh, similar products here. Starting off with the GTX 1050 Ti for 140 bucks. Look at it. I mean, a $10 discount really isn't worthy of Cyber Monday, in my personal opinion. That's decent, but that's still expensive for a uh, 100Hz 1440p ultra wide display. Uh, there were a few things that I came across when I was just generally scrolling that did catch my eye. I will point those out to you. Uh, you see right here, GTX 1070 from Gigabyte for 399 bucks. Any GTX 1070 you can get uh, that has a back plate and that has a, a decent heat dissipation for under 400 bucks is a, a pretty good steal. So I recommend uh, something like this. If I was just building a, another PC from scratch and I wanted a 1070 in the rig, I would probably purchase this graphics card here just because it is uh, relatively cheap and doesn't compromise on... Uh, cooling potential or a backplate, which is a big deal for someone like myself, uh, where aesthetics are a little higher on the priority list. Here's another one I thought was cool. If you're looking for a whitish or silver build, MSI's GTX 1070 Quicksilver Edition, the 8GB 1070, of course, uh, that is not red like it usually is, but that is silver. And I don't know how silver this is. I, don't, I haven't owned one, uh, but it looks to be uh, pretty close to like just a general white color. You see even the backplate is uh, silver metallic looking. Uh, this would look excellent uh, with their X99 titanium motherboard or even the Z170 variant where that uh, PCB is actually silver. This would look really nice in a case like that. It even may look okay in Walter White. I don't know how, again, how silver it is or how white it is, but that's definitely a unique looking card and you can get it for 399 bucks, whatever, $400. I'll go ahead and start rounding these. Ooh, check this one out. Another GTX 1070 from Gigabyte. This one isn't as uh, as efficient and it isn't as highly clocked as the other one was. This one has only two fans here, uh, but 380 bucks. So you're saving $20 and you're still getting a boost clock of 1771 megahertz. That's respectable. I'm, I'm only pushing 1800 on my EVGAs. Uh, these are just regular ACX 3.0 cards. Uh, so they're not super clocked or for the win editions, uh, but or anything around 1800 megahertz is still pretty solid for a 1070, and I expect this card won't get much hotter than about 70 to 75C. So really great price on a GTX 1070 there. That's probably the best uh, graphics card deal so far. Again, anything under 400 bucks, remember that. You can even get a hybrid GTX 1070 for just $420. Granted, the, the GPU uh, core and boost clocks aren't very high on this. I mean, you'd expect these to be uh, in the 2000s considering they're, they're water-cooled, um, but you're only getting 1784 boost out of it. I'm sure you could overclock these more, but out of the box, it's, it still should be a bit higher than that. I haven't noticed too many excellent processor deals. You can see here an i7-6850K. This is the 6800 equivalent, but with 40 PCIe lanes, 15 megabytes of L3 cache, 500 bucks versus 609, which is apparently what it usually is. Uh, it's, it's not stellar. And again, the 8350 isn't looking too cheap either. Uh, there was another processor somewhere up here, the 6800K 379. Someone was telling me that at Micro Center they're selling it for 320 bucks now. So if a Micro Center is anywhere near you, I recommend just driving to one. Uh, you'll save money. <clears throat> Even if you have to pay for gas, you'll still save money. Maybe not time, uh, but at least you get that enjoyable Micro Center experience. Just wrap your wallet in duct tape so you're not tempted to spend any more than you have to. Uh, i5-6600K, still 220 bucks. I wouldn't buy this unless you saw it for under $200. So. Uh, stay away from anything that, that looks pretty close to what it usually is. These deals aren't really deals if you if you really look at them. Uh, let's see, 3 gigabyte GTX 1060, not that great of a deal. That's a decent discount on an i3, $104, $105, bucks, but I would just buy, honestly, if you're going to build an i3 rig, just buy a used one for $80, bucks and you're going to get roughly the same performance. The IPC increase from Haswell to Skylake, for example, was only about 5 or 6%, so nothing stellar there. An R9 Fury, this is the one I purchased for the build you can check out 
I think it's right there. I think the card's gonna show up on that side. Uh, I bought this for 279 bucks, and right now it's 260 bucks. So yeah, another $20 off there. And if you're interested in doing the rebate thing, you can get another $20 off. 240 bucks for an R9 Fury that will demolish an RX 480. That's a great price. Now, if you're looking for a motherboard, maybe you want to upgrade your motherboard or just build a PC from scratch, I recommend using Newegg. I think Newegg's going to have uh, better prices than Amazon will, but I haven't seen, I'm just in general, I haven't seen any fantastic motherboard sales. An okay deal on a Sapphire RX 480. Uh, likewise for the 1060, is this, is this a six gigabyte? Yep, this is a six gig card. Make sure you pay attention to the uh, VRAM uh, amount on the 1060 or 480 you're looking at. Uh, if it's an RX 480 and it's only a four gig card, I wouldn't pay any more than about 200 bucks for it. And if it's an RX 480 eight gigabyte card, about $240 is your sweet spot there. Now this is a beautiful motherboard here. If you're looking at an X99 board, I recommend this. I might even just purchase this for myself just to have on hand. Uh, but this is actually an RGB LED board. So you can you can light it up, you know, get whatever color scheme you want going with that board and have your peripherals to match it. So that's really nice. And it's an all black board, so it's not gonna look really ugly or anything. Uh, in pretty much any case, you throw it in, 280 bucks, it's about $40 off. If you're going to buy an X99 board, I wouldn't spend any more than about $300. That's just my personal uh, take on, on X99 boards at this point. GTX 1080 Extreme from Gigabyte, $659. If you can find a GTX 1080 for around $600, you're gold. It's going to be tough, but if you can find one and you're looking for one, I would buy it. Now this is something interesting. This is actually a decent deal on an OLED TV. They're still fairly expensive because the technology is... It's not new, but it's new to TV, so they keep the prices high just because it's a new thing. Uh, but $1,800, bucks plus you get a $100 promotional gift card for Newegg. OLED, so this means that you're going to have infinite contrast ratios. Each individual pixel produces its own light. There's no LCD backlit thing going on. Uh, you don't have active zones or anything like that. Uh, so blacks are truly black, and uh, your picture... Uh, just overall picture quality is top-notch plus check out how thin this thing is. Do you see that? <laughs> That's the thickness of the TV at least for the upper portion. That's thinner than my MacBook just FYI Here we go. Be wary of these C-pricing cart things with Newark It's very simple. All you gotta do is click it and it'll throw it into your cart. I don't know if you can see it No, you can't see it. It's in a separate uh, separate window, uh, but this this cards price is 580 bucks now granted this is in a blower style cooler but like I said, under $600 for a GTX 1080 is a, a, a good a good steal no matter how you look at it. Here we go with the CryoRig H7. If you're looking for a decent CPU cooler, I recommend this over the Hyper 212 Evo. I've owned both and this thing definitely uh, takes the cake. And for 30 bucks, which isn't far off from the Evo's price normally, uh, this, is a, a, this is a steal. CryoRig makes very great coolers. I've, I've played with several of them. I actually have the R1 Universal coming in for the AMD build. Uh, but for 30 bucks, this is a, a recommended from me. If you're looking for a super snazzy, cool looking case for your new PC, I recommend the NZXT S340. Still a great case, even though the Elite does, in my opinion, look a bit better. Uh, the S340 is a great, more budget friendly option. Check this out, 70 bucks. It's, it's hard to find these cases for 70 bucks in stock and with free shipping. Uh, so if you order through Newegg, I, I'm pretty sure you can get just the, the standard three to five day shipping or five to seven day shipping uh, for free. Uh, or if you have Premier or if you're uh, an Amazon customer, even Amazon offers free shipping. Uh, and depending on whether or not there's a sorting facility in your state, you may or may not have to pay taxes. On Newegg, I haven't had to pay taxes, period. Uh, so keep that in mind. If, you're, if you live outside of the United States, I don't really know what to tell you here. This video is more for people who live in the States just because uh, it's it's more of a American tradition, I guess I should say. If you're a diehard AMD fan looking for an FX8350 or the like, you can pick up one with a Wraith cooler for $150. I believe that's only a $10 premium over the 8350 that doesn't include a Wraith cooler. Uh, so if you are looking to just, you know, uh, cool your CP with something that doesn't cost very much. 10 bucks for a Wraith cooler, I think it's worth it. And oh, here's the beauty. This is one of the ones I was talking about. If you pair this with the Quicksilver uh, GTX 1070 that we showed a bit earlier, check that out. Uh, a very unique looking board, similar to the ASUS Tough Sabertooth board I reviewed in a video you can check out right here. 
uh, but this one is from MSI and is a bit more silverish, so not as white. Uh, but it would look excellent. It would look great with that Quicksilver uh, GTX 1070 we saw a bit earlier. The Deep Cool Captain 240 EX, which I featured in another build you can check out right here, uh, is available for under 100 bucks. If you can pick up a 240 or 280 millimeter uh, all in one water loop for under 100 bucks, I say jump on it. That's from, from a reliable brand. Now, this is something I want to touch on because when it comes to reliability, people tend to look at reviews to kind of get a sense of how good or not good the cooler is. Um, something to take note of. Most of the people who jump on to sites like Newegg and write reviews either have some really good things to say about the cooler or really bad things to say about the cooler. Uh, so it tends to kind of skew your results. If uh, you know the company sends out a hundred all-in-ones and five of them are defective, chances are only those five people are going to come back and say, yeah, this was defective. And then you're going to end up with a product uh, appearing on new egg to not be good because you know five people reviewed it and it all got one egg out of five so don't just rely on one site with its own review category uh, to kind of judge how the cooler is in general sometimes you got to get a feel for it most of these people said it was a decent cooler and it is uh, i've owned one of these personally i still do and uh, it's a great cooler no leaks and cools the cp very well now this was one of my favorite cases at one point i don't know why the that's weird the site's still loading uh, but the price of this is 60 bucks, and that's a great steal for an Eclipse P400. This case is very similar to the NZXT S340 in almost every way, plus you get a few extra features. Uh, so if you're looking, you know, looking to um, to expose your PC's internals with a nice big window, and you want that RGB LED uh, support, then I recommend the Fantex Eclipse. Great case. I have a review of it somewhere. I don't know how many cards I can put in one video, I think five, so I'll have links to this stuff in the video's description. Now I want to hop on over to Amazon for a second. This is not a an online marketplace that's targeted towards a specific consumer. It's more general and enveloping, so it's going to be a bit tougher to find graphics cards. It's going to be a bit diff more difficult to find uh, motherboards and CPUs at really great prices on here. You would have to just be at the right place at the right time to find one here on Amazon. And uh, I'm going to kind of run through... What I, what I do when I look for uh, good deals on Amazon, so let's see, we're on the Cyber Monday page, and we want to go over here and click, am I covering that up? Nope, okay. Uh, let's see, computers and accessories. Let's just see what, what pops up here. So it looks like a bunch of laptops, and all right, so check this out. I actually shared this on Twitter. You'll have to wait a bit for this one. A buddy of mine just purchased the i7 variant of the Razer Blade Stealth, and it is, in fact, a beautiful laptop. I cannot wait to compare it. Uh, to my MacBook and to an XPS 13. I'll have those videos up momentarily. So this one caught my eye as well, save on Dell XPS laptops. If you're looking for an Ultrabook, this will uh, kind of be your sweet spot in my personal opinion. The XPS lineup is uh, a great lineup. You get that beautiful Infinity display. Is that what they call it? Infinity display? Pretty sure. Uh, but this is a 13.3 inch laptop with a 12 inch form factor of sorts. This isn't much larger in terms of length and width than my MacBook, my 12 inch MacBook. This literally just changed from 98% claim to 100%. You can't buy this anymore. Uh, but this is an example of a great deal. A Dell XPS 13.3 inch laptop with an i5 7200U at 3.5 gigahertz. Not much different than the i7 variant. It's still clocked the same. I think there's just a uh, L3 cache difference, I want to say. Uh, but uh, still 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD, and a QHD Plus display, which is actually a higher resolution than the Razer Blade Stealth we just saw a bit earlier. All for uh, 1149 which the Dell XPS lineup is always a bit more expensive than its competitors. You're getting that uh, you know carbon fiber uh, keyboard cover, the Infinity Edge display, which is beautiful. I think that's uh, just an icon of Dell at this point. Uh, and it's, it's just a, a, a beautiful looking, well-built, aluminum brushed laptop. Uh, for 1149 you can see it was originally 1379 You're getting that KB Lake processor, the newest and best, for a great price. Uh, and Amazon actually did a pretty good job uh, grouping all of the XPS laptops into this little uh, page here. But you can see how it's, it's kind of difficult to navigate through. Uh, I guess this isn't too bad. It, it's just a different, uh, I don't know, organization strategy. It's, it, in my opinion, it's harder to sift through uh, stuff on Amazon than it is on, on Newegg just because I think it's not categorized as well. It's just kind of all over the place. 
Uh, EVGA, this is my exact card here. I paid 420 bucks. You can get it for $400. Now you see, yeah, it sees you purchased this item on October 17th. It's howling outside. If you hear some like weird cries, it sounds like it's actually wind. We're in a tornado watch here on <laughs> November 28th. Ooh, this is interesting. So uh, Prime Early Access. So I have Amazon Prime, so I get to access this early. Ooh, 3440 by 1440p. Nice to see on a 34-inch ultrawide. I've seen 32-inch ultrawides that are only 1080p ultrawide, which is uh, you know, pixel resolution at that point starts degrading, especially when you're sitting that close to the monitor. Uh, but sRGB over 99%, so very accurate color gamut. <clears throat> and of course, 21 by 9 form factor and curved which is pretty cool, all for 550 bucks. That's a decent deal, considering it used to be $750. i7-6700K for $300. I recommend this for anybody looking to do any kind of multitasking. If you just want to keep a few Chrome tabs open while you're gaming, or if you want to surf the web while your video is rendering, the i7 is the processor for you. I have videos that should help you uh, figure out which uh, side of the aisle you're on, which side of the aisle, is that how the metaphor goes? Which, whatever, you know, which which side you're on. Uh, but if you want the i7, I'd say this is the place to get it. I'm sure there are other places selling it for cheaper, but if you have Amazon Prime, especially, you can get this thing tomorrow uh, if you order, well, maybe not now, uh, when I upload the video. Uh, but you can see, it'll always tell you, you know, oh, nine minutes, I got nine minutes left if I want it tomorrow. Uh, but that's a good deal on an i7. Let's see here, 6600K, not much of a discount there, so I probably wouldn't recommend them for for that. 6800K, again, nothing stellar. Uh, this price here for the 6950X is almost identical to the price at Micro Center, so I know Micro Center is typically cheaper, so that's actually a decent price for Amazon, but still not uh, catching my interest. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it for Amazon, nothing spectacular in the CPU arena. Let's see, if we just type in graphics card, what'll come up here? Uh, a bunch of cards that aren't appealing, and then we start getting some of the newer stuff. Okay, so 1060, uh, 1050 Ti, that price is not competitive. Uh, RX 460, uh, it's the, these prices aren't really that great either. Uh, you know, being that this is Cyber Monday, you'd think they'd have better deals on stuff that, you know, is tied to computers. But I haven't really found them on Amazon. I guess it's just the vendors themselves aren't willing to mark down the prices. But uh, I'm just not seeing anything very compelling here on Amazon for those. You ever noticed how TV prices tend to increase exponentially as diagonal size increases? That's just something I've never really understood. Yeah, not seeing too many awesome deals on TVs either. It's just... And I, and I hate looking through this thing i hate going back here because this organization is terrible like what is it what is it? deals of the day it's cyber monday there should be no deals of the day they're they're all deals they should be what is this moto z unlocked 500 bucks not bad for an unlocked phone okay this is a pretty good deal here now i've owned the nikon d5100 a majority of my videos uh after i got rid of that original nikon l840 whatever it was called uh, were filmed on the D5100, which was just a 1080p 30fps camera. This one is a D3400, which films in 1080p 60fps, or 50, or 24, 30. And you get two lenses. The This is the 1855mm, uh, as well as the 700, or excuse me, 7300mm, 700, yeah, that'd be like a telescopic lens. Uh, but this is your typical DSLR camera, nothing special, no fold-out screen or anything. Uh, but you do get... The DSLR experience, you get a 24 megapixel CMOS sensor and uh, native ISO up to 25600. That's that's all standard. Uh, but the fact that you get a, a an extra lens, a 70 to 300 millimeter lens, uh, makes this deal very compelling. You can see list price a thousand dollars. Yeah, right. This this camera ain't worth a thousand dollars. But for 500 bucks, this is a pretty good uh, a pretty good investment. I thought, especially for the intro photographer and intro videographer. I almost thought about picking one of these up. I might do it, just to have a second camera on hand, like from a different angle, especially if I'm building a PC or something. It would be nice to have that second camera there. I also thought about a GoPro. I don't know if I should get a GoPro or something like this, more professional or more portable. We'll see, I guess we'll talk about that on Twitter. These prices are just not as good as I remember them back in the day. That's not a bad price there for 25 bucks for 128 gigabyte PNY 
micro SD card. That's a good deal. I um, guess I spoke a little too soon there. But I think what I said still stands. That these deals aren't awesome. I don't know. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. We can duke it out. But I do think that a majority of the deals are targeted towards consumers who aren't necessarily PC builders. So I guess what we should do at this point is move on to a different site. Ah, you know, I was super excited for this one, and then I saw that it was only a 1366 by 768 that's only effectively 720p. Wow, just nothing spectacular. Even their SSDs aren't that cheap. I bought mine for 39 bucks back when it wasn't a holiday. Maybe that's why they're keeping the prices up, just because I know people are going to be looking for this stuff. But then, what's the point of Cyber Monday? Yeah, prices here, fairly expensive. Mm, just off the top of my head. You know, when you first go to a website on Cyber Monday, you should expect to see a lot of great deals up front within the first two or three pages uh, that you click on. I'm not seeing any of that. I mean, even these that they're showcasing on their front page aren't really that great. Let's see what Micro Center has to offer. Maybe Micro Center can come to the rescue. I expect they'll have decent deals. From what you guys have been telling me, I've been missing out. I need to take another trip to Houston or something and check out their, their Micro Center deals. Um, i5, 6600K, check that out, 180 bucks. That's a good price for an i5 unlocked SKU. Yep, I would definitely seize that deal if you are in the vicinity of a Micro Center. Of course, most of this you have to be in store for, so keep that in mind. You will have to make a drive. Long or far, though, I still think it's worth it to save uh, that kind of money on a processor and potentially other components for your PC. Here's the one I purchased recently, the FX8320E for 80 bucks. This is a good deal. While I don't recommend the FX processor simply because they are outdated, uh, if you're looking to build a you know ultra-budget PC, uh, for somebody who's not looking to upgrade anytime soon, they just need something to surf the web with and play the occasional game, 80 bucks is a compelling offer for a 8-core uh, processor. Now for you Apple lovers out there, I'm sure most of you watching this channel aren't fans of Apple. I kind of got that idea when you, you know, just automatically disliked my Apple videos just because you happen to be against Apple. No hate, no hate, just pointing out something I observed. An Apple MacBook Pro with Retina display. 13.3 inch screen of course, an i5, I believe this is the 50, 5200U, this is, yeah this isn't the Skylake version, this isn't the newest one, uh, but you are getting a retina display, 128 gig SSD and uh, 8 gigs of RAM for just over a thousand dollars, I think this is a really good price for uh, the last gen MacBook, not the newest gen, but the last gen, so you're still getting those, those um, you know, typical USB uh, ports and the like. You even get an HDMI port with that. That's a little strange. I don't remember that being on the on the last gen MacBook. But yeah, you get all that good stuff for just over a thousand dollars. I think that's a good price. Let's see. DDR4. If you happen to be looking for some RAM, is Micro Center the place to go? In my experience, personally, they haven't had the best deals on RAM. They just they just never have. Let's see. Power supplies. This can be iffy for a store like this. I purchased one that I found even cheaper at Best Buy. That was just my fault for not uh, doing my research beforehand. Yeah, prices aren't that great on power supplies. And if you're if you're doubting whether or not I can actually sift through this much info that quick, I am. I'm just skimming through. I'm looking at the wattage, looking at the brand, looking at the uh, efficiency rating, and then checking the price. I'm kind of skimming through each, each row as I scroll. So let's see here. Intel motherboards. Wow, their site is slow today. I think uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people are on Micro Center's website right now. Uh, okay, well, Micro Center's giving us issues. We're gonna move back on Newegg. I'd say this is your best bet for most computer components, at least in the States. So this actually gives you the option of orienting your graphics card uh, vertically or versus horizontally. And it's got a window that kind of curves up and over. So check this out. This is from the, from the uh, where's the top down view? It is right there. Yeah, so check that out. So from the top, the window actually curves over uh, the, the top panel. So you can kind of see down into the case from, from above if you happen to put your PC on the floor or something. Uh, but it's just a unique aesthetic. I like how Thermaltake did that. Definitely sets them apart. And it looks like you got plenty of space in there. I'd like to uh, get my hands on this case, do maybe a case review and a build inside of it. 
So yeah, what I'm getting from this is that Cyber Monday really isn't what it used to be, I, at least from what I can tell. It's not as exciting. I'm not seeing as many awesome deals on the things that I used to be interested in. You know, iPod touches, you know, the MP3 players, cameras, GoPros, uh, home theater systems, things like that. I'm not, I'm not seeing those deals like I used to. What I am seeing is quite a number of 4K TV deals and uh, a few monitor deals. And everything else is marked down, but not a lot. I mean, these are standard discounts that kind of run all year long. So nothing special for the holiday, if you want to call it that. So that's how I'm going to end the Cyber Monday shenanigans video on a bit of a sour note. I just don't remember these deals being as weak as they are. I remember my brother last year built his entire PC for basically half off. He got graphics cards, power supplies, all that stuff for much cheaper than what they usually run. But right now, even on Newegg, I'm not finding those deals. There are a few of them, you know, they're decent deals, but they're not like, whoa, you gotta buy this right now. Those kinds of deals, which used to be what made Cyber Monday so awesome and so exciting. Not seeing those exciting deals anymore. Let me know if you have any uh, deals in mind that you find on various sites. Link those in the, in the comments below, help other people out. And uh, I'll be sure to, I'm gonna upload another video tomorrow on my new light kit that I bought from Studio Pro. I'll give you a full on like setup guide and you know the differences between having them and not having them, especially for a camera like my FC1000, which isn't the best camera out there. Needs a lot of light to uh, get that picture looking nice and nice and crisp. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. If you do feel like a good episode or if you hate everything but like, be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the video I just talked about. This is Salazar Studio. Happy hunting online. Best of luck. Pretty sure you're going to need it, unfortunately. Thanks for learning with us.